Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your Florida 3A 144 pound state champion. And I should say two time state champion from Buholtz, CJ mm -hmm. Liddy. CJ, is, is it okay if I call you CJ instead of Cavarius? Is, is that That's cool? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, how's it sound to say two time state champ? Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's it's cool, yeah. It is cool. Like, um, I, I want you to talk through with me uh, how it feels to win a second one compared to the first one. Is it a different feeling? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a different feeling. It's more, it's a little bit more cooler winning the second one for sure. Just to like repeat and do it again, especially back to back. It was, it was pretty cool, fun and cool. Yeah, no doubt. Well, and and I'm gonna give Coach Panky a, a shout out here because Buholtz is they, they they put together a team over the last few years yeah. um with you and Kaysen and and several others. You know, you guys you guys have put Buholtz on the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It, it's all good. Who, who's the cat? Oh, that's Missy. Missy? Yeah. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Well, um, before we talk about a run to a second state title and all that jazz, um, we're going to talk a few things off the mat. We good with that? Yeah. All right. All right. So let's um, let's start with. Uh, do you listen to music before you you wrestle? Oh uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Does it just depend on like the situation? Um, it kind of just depends on whether I'm like kind of want to or not it's not really like a prep it's just like if i feel like it or not did sometimes you listen did, will. i'm sorry go ahead sometimes i won't and sometimes i will it's like just depends on the day so did you listen to it before your state finals this time yeah i did you did what were you listening to uh i don't know i just put something random on I something ra on. something random is it is it something that is designed to hype you or is it something that, that's designed, designed to kind of relax you? Um, normally it's just like to just something other to think about than wrestling, just to like, so I go in with a clear mind. But I think before the state finals, it was like something to calm me down because I was a little nervous going into like the second the match. I was a little nervous. Yeah. So you were nervous. Were you, were you nervous before your first state final? No, I was more calm on the first one than the second one how's that i don't know it's just there was a lot of pressure it was you like you felt yeah. pressure to win a second yeah. one there's a lot more pressure on the second one than the first okay is it because in the first one you were wrestling danny and maybe everybody maybe expected danny to win or is that yeah did that play a role the first one was it was a lot easier to go into because like no one really expected me to win, so I didn't have anything to, like, I didn't have anything to lose, anything to prove. And then, like, the second one, everyone's like, I have to win. So it was more, like, a lot of pressure on me to win and to, like, you know, live up to the expectation of being a two-time or just a one-time state champ. So there's a lot oh, more pressure. Just, just one time. Just, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. So um, Beyonce, right? Yes? No. Uh, you like Beyonce? I don't really listen to her music. You don't really listen to her music. Okay. Have you heard her doing country music? No. Okay. She just dropped an album doing country music. So yeah. I didn't know if you knew. All right. All right. So um, sushi. Yes? No? Yes. Yes. Any kind of sushi? Raw fish sushi? Sushi? Chicken tempura. Okay. All right. Um, roller coasters. Yay mm -hmm. or nay? Nay. Nay. All right. If we go to the beach and they have those slingshots that you like strap in and get slung, are you doing that? Yeah. You would do that. Okay. You won't do roller coasters, but you'll do that. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Roller coasters. <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just trying to understand. I'm just yeah. trying to understand. All right. So, pineapple on pizza, is that a thing or not a thing? Not a thing. Not a thing. Uh, bacon or sausage? 
Bake it. Bake it. Bake it. All right. Uh, what's a go-to breakfast food? Uh, I don't really eat breakfast, actually. You don't. Okay. Do you eat after weigh-ins? What, what's your? Do you have a go-to weigh-in after weigh-in food? Recently, I've been eating ground turkey and rice. It's like the thing I eat after weigh-ins now. So that's pretty good. And then um, some type of granola bar or something like that is what okay. I'll have. Okay. All right. Um, I want you to finish the sentence. I have a fear of... Spiders. Spiders. Okay. All right. So have you looked at any Instagram reels where there's yeah. spiders? Yeah. Have you ever seen the one with the woman with the stick who pokes it underneath like a vending machine in a subway or something? Yeah. <laughs> you seen that? And they all come rushing out? Yeah. Do you think that's AI or is that real? I don't know. I hope I hope it's fake. It's like, <laughs> you know what? I hope it's fake too, because I'm not fearful of spiders, but man, that that freaked me out. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. That was not a thing. All right. So um best subject or not best subject, favorite subject in school. Mm. I don't really have one. Not I at all? They're all like the same. They're all the same. Yeah. Do you I have think... a do you have a worse subject? Probably math. Okay. That's the one you like the least? Yeah. How much how important is a teacher to you liking the subject? Um not not as much. Not as much. I, it could be like the worst teacher, and it's like fine as long as I like the course, but like it depends a little bit if the teacher's just like kind of not really like i don't really know how to explain it they're not like the coolest teacher i guess yeah like, no i got you okay all right so um so were you you were probably watching your weight i don't know if you were really were you cutting weight this year not really i was cutting like before shoot no before Christmas, I was cutting like seven, eight pounds. And then like after Christmas, I started to kind of like eat a little bit healthier. So I was cutting like four or five pounds. And so like really like a pound. Yeah, not, not nothing terrible. Is there is there something you cut out of your diet that you missed during the year? Um, yeah, probably just like a lot of candy. Just oh. like you, you like can't you like candy? Yeah. So are you um like what's the go to candy? Are you like David Carr and like gummy bears? Yeah, I like gummy bears. The you like gummy board. bears? I love gummy bears. Um, okay. Is there another go to candy or is that nah that's it? I'm okay. Just gummy bears. All right. Is there a talent CJ has off the mat that people don't know about? No. No, no. talent? Everything else besides wrestling. You can't, you, you, juggling? You can't juggle? No. Sing? You can sing. No. Can't sing. Dance? No. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so I want you to take me back. When did you start wrestling, and why did you start wrestling? Who got you involved? Um, I started wrestling freshman year, and it was Coach Pinky and another teammate that I had that graduated. Pinky told me I should come on and wrestle after a football season. And then the other guy told me I should come wrestle just because, just try it out. And so I went and tried it out. I didn't like it at first. And then I kind of just like stayed and then it kind of grew on me a little bit. Do you remember that first practice? Yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of fun. I didn't really like, it's just weird trying something new, like wrestling coming from like football. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a little weird at first. And then like, it got like comfortable over like time. After a while, it was fine. Do you remember your first match? Uh, yeah. I like. <laughs> I was supposed to be making one hundred six. I missed weight by like a pound and a half, and then the coach was like, "Oh, we'll bump our guy up anyways." And then their guy was like, "I think I've been wrestling for like nine years, or something like that." And then like pinning me in the first period, so that was pretty like. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. No, I got you. I got you. All right. So so. 
you started wrestling as a freshman and you finish as a two time state champion. Mm -hmm. You have watched a lot of growth from a freshman year to senior year. What do you think changed the most over those four years? Um, I think just like, just me as a person, like going from a freshman to a senior, it was more of me just like not knowing what I want to do and then like shaping what I want to do and how I wanted to do stuff. So like something I would do now, I would do completely different as a freshman. So I think it just shaped me as a better person. Okay. I got you. All right. So, um, if you were to give a piece of advice, I mean, you're, you were a leader this year at Buholtz and, you know, talking to brand new freshmen who are walking in, if you were going to give them a piece of advice, what would be that piece of advice? Um, definitely just stick around. Don't like, just, just go to as much stuff as you can. Like tomorrow I'm going to one of the Lake Island prep rumbles and like, I don't need to go, but like, it's just a thing that like, it's going to make me better. Just do stuff that like, it's going to make you better instead of, you know, sitting at home and playing Fortnite, you can go on a run or like go lift or something like that. And just like, just do stuff your way, you know, not like following a group. Like you can go run on your own. You can go lift on your own. Just do stuff your way, basically. So you, uh, you, you've already talked about winning a second state title, feeling more pressure with winning a second state title. Um, after winning it, I, I don't remember your celebration, um, but was it a was it a relief? Was it a, a like a enthusiasm? Were you thinking of a particular person? What was in your head after you finished winning the second one? Um, it was definitely a relief of just like there wasn't any more pressure to like live up to anymore. It was just all over. So I think it was definitely a relief and. The celebration was just like, I don't know, it was just letting everything out, I guess. All right. So what's next for CJ? Um, Chattanooga wrestling. Going up to Chattanooga for college. For UTC. Congratulations on that. Um, did you uh happen to watch Braden Palmer and Isaiah Poe wrestle a little bit this past weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Can you see the, yourself in that situation in the future? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. So the last question I'm asking everyone is the same. And that is why is why wrestle? What what is special about the sport to you? Um it's just different from everything else. Like there's a lot more accountability than any other sport. It's just like like you can be on a football field, you have like eleven other guys to help you. Rather than like wrestling, it's just like one on one thing. Like you have teammates to help support you, but like everything else is just like individual. Everything like relies on whatever you do. So it's definitely like it's definitely different from everything else. And just like the way like the wrestlers get along is just different from everything else. Like you cannot wrestle and then come into a room and be friends with the guy next to you the next day. And it's all just it's all like a big family. Well, I want to say congratulations on winning the second title. Thank you. I want to wish you the best of luck at UTC. Um, we will be cheering for you and watching you as you continue to progress and everything else. And um, yeah, CJ, congratulations, man. Thank you. All right, cool. You take care. You too.